Hey folks, Jacob here, aka Necrosis. I wanted to make a quick video to showcase how to take your Android phone, turn it into a web camera, and then synchronize it with the audio in your microphone within open broadcast software so they don't go out of sync. It was a problem I've been dealing with in the last few of my videos. I think I found a solution that works, and I'll show you how to do it. This first step is easy. All you need is download IP webcam for your Android phone. I can't show you with my phone because I'm actually using it to videotape myself, but if you go on the, uh, the Play Store, if you see this icon right here, that's the software. It's free. There's a pro version. I'm not using the pro version. You don't need to, I don't believe. You install it, and the screen will look like this when you open it. And then you click on Video Preferences, pick your, um, your resolution. In my case, I'm using uh, 720p, uh, 1280 by 720. You could go up to 1080p, you can go higher probably, it just depends on the phone, I believe. And then the quality option is the only one other that you might want to set. Right now I'm using 40, which is pretty low. You have to tinker with that, but keep it that at the default of, let's say, 50, and you'll be good. So once this is installed, once you've got it running, you scroll down all the way to the bottom, it says Start Server. Start Server, and it'll look like a camera. You can turn the screen off after that if you want. Um, you got to make sure you're actually connected to your Wi-Fi and not to your, you know, phone carrier or something. And on that same screen, before you turn it off, it'll uh, give you an IP address. It's like a whole URL, and it'll look something along these lines. Well, see, there's mine right there. Or actually, I picked a different IP address, but. And it tells you this right on that screen as it's filming. And it'll be your port, whatever you chose, along with the phone's IP address on the network. And just hit enter, and it'll immediately take you into this screen, which is the where you can tinker around with it some more. So here, if you wanted to preview yourself, you can click on Flash, for example. There I am. Arr. I'm going to turn that off. You can play around with some of the stream quality. Oh, I'm using 29% uh, stream, stream quality. <laughs> the lower this value is, the easier time your phone has. I was having issues with uh, my Wi-Fi. I'm only using a single device on my network, Wi-Fi. I don't like Wi-Fi. I have no reason to use it normally, but I happen to have a shitty router for it. And... And if the ping gets all screwed up through the Wi-Fi, maybe it's changing a channel to something else, uh, you may get some video stuttering and stuff momentarily. But doing it the way I'm about to show you will at least maintain the synchronization once it's done glitching. So here I'm just pinging my, um, my phone on the network. You can see right now I'm getting 2 milliseconds to 3 milliseconds, so that's good. If this thing is like in the hundreds or something, it might look a little weird or something. So that's a way to check. Up here it shows you um, some good options as far as other, other software you can use. And normally you would download something that would let you create a webcam device within open broadcast software. The problem is this one goes out of sync when you do it this way because it's completely independent and everything has a different clock. And if you can't synchronize the clocks, and you can't, if you, if you don't have like, you know, studio gear or something, it's not going to work. So, um, the other viewing methods that they had, uh, I downloaded this VLC media player, which everybody knows and hates or loves. Maybe hates. I know I hate. And what I'm using it for is there I am. I downloaded it, installed it. I didn't really mess with any of the settings. All you do is, and I'll stop it for the moment just to show you. Sorry, now you can't see me. Um, when you get to when you're on the main screen, go to Open Network Stream. Type in the same the same IP address and port that you did to get to the web page, and then add slash video, and then change your cache to zero. It'll be zero milliseconds. Normally, it defaults to a, a thousand milliseconds, and hit play. 
And what that'll do is it'll stream straight to your uh, player without trying to buffer it. So it basically maintains a synchronization because if things get cracked, you know, wacky, it just well, there's no buffer, so it'll just look all screwed up, and then once it's over, back to where it was, and you're normal again, boom, boom, boom. And then from here, you just take your open broadcast software, and just like you would your game or anything else, you create a, a window capture, capture that window, add a little bit of a position offset, or subregion is what they're calling it, so it's not grabbing the upper and lower portions of the window, and you're done. That's it. And since this is no longer streaming it as a driver into the software, it's just recording it as VLC has it. And VLC is always going to be displaying it as is without, you know, without doing anything weird. So that's how I ended up maintaining sync. You got to also synchronize your audio independent for the microphone and in my case I'm using a microphone that's going through my routing system three two one so the only thing left to do is um, synchronize your microphone to the video and you do that by well first off what we're talking about here is an audio not the advanced audio global global offset but rather just the normal audio the mic sync offset. Now in my case, my routing system has a big delay on the microphone output because it goes through a lot of filters and that adds latency. So your values may actually be a lot higher than mine. All you do, I would recommend anyways, uh, do a recording and then clap a few times and then load it up into your web player or something like that. Um, I'm normally loading it into Adobe uh, Premiere Pro. You could actually, if you have Media Player Classic, I wasn't think I just thought this up right now. When you load your video in here, this, this program, if you're not familiar, happens to have a option to shift the audio, if you, assuming you have the uh, audio switcher enabled. And you just, it's right here, internal filters, audio switcher. What I hit was, sorry, O. Or you can right click and go to options, same deal. Go to audio switcher down here, enable audio time shift. If this is not enabled up here, you'll have to take it, restart the program. And then play your video. And if the video is too fast, then add a negative value here. Let's say negative 200. Yeah, negative 200, and then hit OK, and then try, you know, play over that scene again, and it will have shifted the audio. If it looks better, then go further until it looks right where you want it. If you've got any form of um, software for video editing, you can probably cut the way I do. I take the video frame. As soon as my hands hit, I cut that spot, and then I look where the audio starts on the clap, I cut that spot and then I just measure the distance in milliseconds of that segment and then I know how much I need to shift it. Once you figure out that value, just go into your settings, audio, and this is an open beta broadcast software. Why do I keep saying beta? I don't know. Open broadcast software. Open broadcaster software. And add that value into your mic sync offset and then hit OK and do another recording, test it out, talk. Now if you're doing video games, you may also need to do some form of sync test just to make sure your video, um, the rest of the audio, your global stuff is synchronized as well and it might change. I personally just use a little video like this. So I literally run a recording while I play that, and then I do the same process, except that time it's using the desktop audio and not my microphone. And once that's synchronized, you go to the settings, the assignment advanced, and you can add that value into here. And I don't think normally there would be a delay here anyways. I have it because of my audio system. 
a lot of things are being routed through filtration and stuff, adds latency. Camera will be a little bit off from the actual video, but your voice will not be out of sync with your lips. So there's another benefit to doing it this way, and that's that you have VLC player uh, options instead of just a generic window or something, or just going straight in as is from the camera. And the downside, if you minimize this, you just stop getting motion. So you might have to move it down or something when you're doing stuff, just, just to get that out of the way. Um, right now, I believe I'm using a couple filters, since that's one of the benefits here. Oh, sorry, let me show you what I did here. Down here is the Show Extended Settings button, or you can go into Tools and Effects and Filters. First, uh, second tab, sorry, Video Effects, and then you can do whatever the hell you, you know, whatever they got. In my case, I did an image adjustment, just a slight contrast. If you wanted to sharpen yourself, you could do that. You can destroy it if you want and make it look like crap. Um, let's see. There's also a motion blur effect if you want to do the whole Jacob's Ladder, Silent Hill thing, you know. I don't know how much use that's going to have, but hey, it looks cool, right? And now, here's the interesting thing, and I don't know if it's just my phone or my lighting in my room. This is a very, very dark room. No matter how much lights I put up, it's a dark, dark room. Um, you can see that I am, uh, the image right now it's producing is clean. And I did this because of a noise, uh, noise effect, uh, sorry, a denoising effect. When you went, when I go to tools, preferences, all, and then this is your advanced options down here in video filters. You check high quality 3D denoise filter. It will let you do, 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 edit it. And by default, I think it's like 4, 3, 6, and 4.5 or something. I bumped up just the Luma, uh, uh, the temporal Luma strength, but um, play around with it. Um, let me show you what it looks like normally, at least with my setup I'm in my room. And when I change these you gotta stop and hit start again so let me let me make that a little bit bigger for a moment here so you can kind of see there's just lots of noise noise and noise around me and a lot of times this could just be a lighting issue I don't know but yeah uh, if you're just streaming directly into open broadcast software you wouldn't have that benefit um, of actually being able to remove it. So, by being able to pull it into a VLC, you get the side benefit of being able to hit it with a few filters, fixes, and there's other stuff in there I didn't care to look, because in my case, when I'm gaming, I don't want to add more CPU usage to this stuff, so minimum, 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 and normally I don't think I would even use this, because I'm just putting my head off in the corner. So, this is what it looks like right now. And that's with a denoising filter. So it's it's decent. So there you have it. It's uh, nothing too special, but hey, if you, don't, if you need a webcam, I mean, if you got a phone, if you all got phones, boom, boom, done. It's that easy. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you found some of that useful. My name is Jacob Necrosis. Bye.